Kamala Harris endorsed herself inside the video game Fortnite. This is absolutely disgusting on a level deeper than most people realize. I'm outside. It's a little ghetto. I'm outside because I'm downsizing my apartment. I live in the New York City area because Joe Biden and Kamala Harris world is so overpriced, even though I work full time. We're going to get to that in a second. It's going to tie into the end of the video, but I wanted to get this to you because it's really important information. This is a combination of Kamala Harris news and video game news. It's important for you, even if you don't play video games, though, because of what it represents. It's easiest to just show you I'm on the go a little bit and we're not here to dissect the content of the advertisement. I have a little bit of it up in the background. The sound's not even on. This has been out for a couple of days. People have videos talking in detail about it, but this is a different take on it. We're talking about what it represents. And again, it's easiest to just show you. I'm going to show you a clip that Libs of TikTok reposted. If you don't like Libs of TikTok, I know a lot of people know who they are. My channel is also for you, especially if you play games. I'm here to level up gamer brains with Red Pill Gaming News. Liz at TikTok reposted this. Before I show it to you, keep in mind, a lot of the people that play Fortnite are teenagers. That's why it's so disgusting Kamala Harris put her politics in here. I don't know if this girl plays video games. She's upset that her father is a Donald Trump voter, but she's a similar age of people that probably play Fortnite. So it's good representation of what the sinister agenda behind this is. A lot of people are saying it doesn't make sense Kamala Harris did this, even though it's cringe, because a lot of people that play Fortnite aren't old enough to vote. She had an election endorsement in there. That's what I'm getting at, is this is way disgusting on a level people don't realize. She knows these people can't vote. She's dumb, but she's not that dumb. It's not about getting their vote. It's about getting kids to hate their parents who love America and are voting Donald Trump. Check it out. I hate you, you fucking orange pumpkin. You just constantly me one of the most important people in my life. My dad. Donald Trump, I hate you. You will never be president again. You bastard, you costed me my dad. My dad was the most important person in the world to me, but now his colors are finally out. I hate you, you fucking orange pumpkin bed. <laughs> I hate you, you stupid, stupid, failed fucking businessman. <coughs> you fucking sickened me. You and all of your fucking Trump supporters. Fuck you. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His 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 demonization of seen as unconscionable. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. Yeah, so that's really, really, really sad. And the people that already love Donald Trump know that a vote for him is going to also help the Americans who don't like him or hate him. He's going to make the entire country better. And to prove how misguided Kamala Harris voters are, I'm going to show another clip that Elon Musk reposted from Dave Rubin. If you don't know who Dave Rubin is, he's a gay guy. I like to use gay guys. I also use the black conservative uh, in my content. I'm the white gamer. I'm the heterosexual virtual alpha gamer. I'm the white gamer. So I like to use the gay commentators. And I like to use the black conservative perspective. Give me a like if you appreciate me doing that, having a little fun trying to level up the gamer brains. Again, if you don't play video games, this is special content because Kamala Harris and Joe Biden are making things way too expensive out there. My content might take you into the future of fun and help you support your values at home. This stuff from Elon Musk is crazy. Uh, let's check it out. Let's see the type of people who are voting for Kamala Harris and what they are voting for. Take a look and stay tuned. Even if you're not a gamer, I got a special surprise for you. While you watch this clip, just know that Dave Rubin made this address to Sam Harris. He's a classical liberal. Uh, that's like a regular American, I guess, in very, very layman's term. Bill Maher is a good example of that if you know who he is. If you don't know politics, you can look him up real quick. Check him out. But yeah, he's talking to him in this video, but act like he's talking to you. And he's also going to be talking about Los Angeles, where Sam Harris lives. I'm in the New York City area. Again, they're destroying the cities. Uh, Dave Rubin's going to touch on that. But it all relates to why I'm moving and downsizing 
even though I have a full-time job, guys. It's crazy. It's clown reality out there. Clown town. Let's check out this clip from uh, Dave Rubin and Elon Musk. I would say to the average liberal who is out there, the old school liberal that I think Sam believes he still is, what you are about to do is now vote for Kamala Harris, the most illiberal person on the planet. You are gonna vote for someone that is for censorship. You are gonna vote for the person who wanted vax mandates. I thought individual autonomy and bodily autonomy was a liberal principle. You are gonna vote for the people who are going to, who not are going to, who have opened up our borders and let millions and millions of people into this country. You are going to vote for someone who is at the epicenter of all of the woke stuff you purport to be against. So you're voting for someone who is for chopping off kids' genitals. You are voting for someone who fundamentally now leads a party that is anti-American, doesn't think this place is good, that is for identity politics. You are voting for someone that has destroyed the city that you live in, Los Angeles. And you're doing all that in the name of liberalism because you don't like Donald Trump, who is actually the most liberal Republican candidate we have ever had. And I mean this gent gently and friendly, with, with friendship and openness, say to Barry Weiss and whoever else is out there that considers themselves an old school liberal, that, can, that sees the evils of the left, that now understands how radically insane the Democrat party has become. This is your challenge now. This is up to you guys. Yeah, so there you have it. I'm a politics and gaming channel and people leave me comments that they don't like that. They don't like politics mixed in with their entertainment. But this whole thing is proof that these agencies, these entertainment agencies have been putting politics in their content for years. Kamala Harris just put herself inside a video game for fucking teenagers. It's absolutely gross. The movies and television show people, the actors and actresses, the elitist Holly weird people have been doing it for years. I got a uh, gaming video game death threats on uh, Eminem and Usher. It shows clips and them changing their mind and selling us out and all this stuff check it out i'll leave the information card it's a really fun video but most importantly uh, i'm the virtual reality gamer i'm doing therapy virtual reality content for people that never got the truth about this technology you're going to see more in the video even if you're not interested in virtual reality i guarantee you're going to like the video the entertainment value and also I probably am for somebody in your family. This stuff is not just for gamers. This is very unique, very special content. Give me a like if you see where I'm going with it and you appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel, go into the future of fun, especially if you own a virtual reality headset. If you don't trust me yet, uh, click over here. YouTube's gonna give you a random recommendation. Uh, I'm also gonna leave a, a, a little thing for my uh, Greg Foreman, the black conservative, the white gamer. Crossfire mission white sauce, red pill news if you need it, exposing Kamala Harris under military tactical action for not being a real black chick. Again, I used the black guy, teamed up with him in there, so you can't call me a racist. Uh, but my personal recommendation, this virtual reality headset will kill your enemies and save America. Go see if Kamala Harris can survive my virtual reality content. Check it out. You will be highly entertained. I have a feeling you're going to want to subscribe to my channel after that. If you have already um guys game better go virtual go alpha i still flat screen game all the time by the way i uh, get the rip hell news if you need it i have essentials playlist i have some virtual reality wokeness executions this is one of them that uh, this virtual headset will kill your enemy and save america sorry this is a little boot like i wanted to get the video to you guys i'll see you inside the future of fun subscribe to my channel support small creator white gamer app